Hello, thanks for watching my video. Okay, first I start the level editor. I open a map that came with the game and I copy the fundamental entities from it. In this case, I used a map entitled Beach and I took the spawn points. A dynamitable door and a wall. A flagpole. The main objective, which is a war document. And the goal zone, where the document must be delivered. Next, I create one big box and paste the entities into it. I also make sure that the sky shader works. I also copy all other necessary files, such as the map script. Why? I don't want to spend hours on creating a beautiful map only to find out that it crashes all the time. Two things are extremely important when making maps. Frame rate must be high and no crashes. Okay, it's time for some design. This is what you came for. In this example, I wanted a small map. The allied forces spawn in the lower left corner. They are attacking. I put the document in the opposite corner, upper right. The shortest route is of course a straight line, but it also has to be the hardest. In fact, it should be almost impossible for the allies to go that way. I put the flag post there that the allies can capture for a forward spawn position. This will make them try really hard to push through the middle. I also wanted a large open area in the middle for duels and fragging. This is where I put the door entity. The middle way is mayhem. The ally forces need to dynamite the door, push forward and capture the flag. All maps need side routes, right? I used the wall entity for this design. The allied forces will dynamite the wall and then access the document via this side route over on the right side. It's a two-way labyrinth. My overall idea is that once the door and the wall is dynamited, the Axis forces must pull back and defend the document. Now, where should the Axis forces spawn? I made it so that they first spawn in the middle at the flag once the game starts. Then, for the rest of the match, they spawn up in the left corner. I also gave them a one-way sneaky route on the left side. This will enable them to get closer to the Allied base and perhaps retake the documents once they're stolen. Let's get into the game. This is the Allied base. It's also the invisible trigger zone for the carrier. Once the documents are brought here, it's game over and the allied forces win. Let's go to the middle of the map. This is the door. Let's check out the side route over on the right side. This is the wall. Applying dynamite. Dynamite planted. Door breached. This is the flag. Taking it will enable a forward spawn point for the allies. The open area around this flagpole will be heavily contested.
As a mapmaker, I vision this as a kill zone for the Allies. That's why I put in this tiny ventilation route. It will help the Allies a little bit, but not too much. Let's locate the objective. It's over here on the right. I kept everything very open, making it harder to defend. Let's head back to that wall. Dynamite planted. As you can see, I made the corridors wide. I anticipate a lot of duels and firefights. Once an allied player grabs the documents, Objective taken. there's a choice. Go left via the wall. Or straight ahead through the door. I think most carriers will go the left way, because it feels safer. Let's grab the documents and bring them to the Allied base, just to test the map. Objective taken. Allies win again. No crash. The map's entities the mechanics and the scripting seems to work. I'll go Axis now. As I said, they spawn at the flag the very first time they enter the game. This is the only time they can spawn in the middle. I would imagine that most Axis players will set up some sort of defense here at the door or at the wall. Remember that Axis one-way sneaky route? Let's go and check it out. My idea behind this design is that the Axis can reach the Allied base. This will give them a slim, but real, opportunity to take back the document objective. When the Axis players die, they will respawn in their main base for the remainder of the game. There are basically three ways out of this Axis base. The middle way, straight to the open area at the flag. The left way, which goes to the objective. And the way over here on the right side, which takes you to that Axis sneaky route to the Allied base. Okay, enough talking. Let's play a match. First, I'll let the bots play and I'll just spectate. Then I'll join the game. Please click thumbs up, subscribe or write a comment if you enjoy the video.
Objective taken. Objective secured. Dynamite planted. Dynamite planted. Objective taken. Hold the fire! Objective secure. Objective taken. Objective taken. Objective taken. Objective. Thanks, and all the best.